What's up, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to all of my subscribers. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. Welcome to all of my new viewers. If you're a viewer and you have not clicked like the subscribe button, you know the, the yeah, the subscribe button. You ain't click that button. You are a viewer. So welcome to you because I appreciate you too. Because if it wasn't for you, there would be no me. Now, if you are watching this replay, please let me know you're watching a replay in the comments and let us know what you thought about this uh, video after you finish watching it. Now, if you don't know who I am, I am P. Mathis, the accountant, and my channel was created to help you build a better financial future. I am also an author. So if you're interested in learning how to create passive income for yourself and your family, you want to grab my passive income book. That link is in the description for you. Now, if you are a business owner and you want to learn how to use video marketing to grow your brand, grow your business, grow your bottom line, you want to get my video marketing book that's going to teach you how to do just that. All right. Now, before we get started, I want you to do this for me. I want you to hit the subscribe button like right now if you have not already done that. Now, if you have done that, I want you to double check that it is still clicked because YouTube have this funny little thing where sometimes they will remove subscribers even though you subscribe. So I want you to make sure you are still connected and still plugged in. Now, if you are an official subscriber, I also want you to make sure you turn on that notification bell for me, the little bell right next to subscribe. I want you to turn that bell on, on for me so you know when I'm live and you do not miss any of the tea. All right. So today, today, we are going to be talking to a business owner. This woman was is still in the nursing field. And then she decided that she was going to step out on faith and start her own business. So let me tell you guys a little bit about this woman. And she'll tell you more about um, herself when she comes into the live. And if I mess up her name, y'all forgive me. Y'all know I'm queen of messing up people's name. And I didn't ask her already how to say this name, but I always be messing it up. So y'all forgive me. Charge it, to my, charge it to my mind, not my heart. Charge it to my mind, not my heart. I ain't trying to mess up nobody's name. But let's get right to it. So Shawana, I hope I said that right. Owner of Sophisticated Queen Boutique. She has been a nurse for over 25 years, but has always had a love for fashion. In 2020, God placed in her heart to start her own business. So the SQB was created. The goal of the SQB is to, to provide clothes that not only make women of all shapes and sizes look good, but also feel good. They have clothes for all occasions. So I guess that means you want to go to the birthday party, you want to go to the wedding, the church, wherever you're going, baby, they got something for you. Their motto is get those sophistic get the sophisticated queen look. Now, if you want to follow up on them after this interview, you can find them on Facebook at the sophisticated queen boutique or Instagram at The Sophisticated Queen. Now, when she does get on, I'll make sure I put her website at the bottom so you guys can also, also visit her website. Now, I'm going to ask her a few questions. She's going to share a few inf uh, some information with you guys, and then I'm going to give her the floor. She's actually going to be offering you guys that's on this video a, a sweet deal. You're going to be getting 20% off, and you're going to need to use the code 0695. I'm going to say it again. Somebody already checking out the website. Thank you for that. Just checked out the site and um, items are very cute and prices are affordable. Y'all better go check it out. But before you do that, before you do that, I need you to get this discount code so you will get that discount. Now, because she's giving you a discount because you over here with B Madison, you on this video. Code 0695. Nine five. Okay, y'all. That's the information y'all need. And the last thing I want to do is shout her out for her alumni. She is a graduate of Florida A and M University. So if you guys didn't know that she is a rattler. So we about to get it started. We about to let her in here. I'm gonna ask her a few questions, and then the floor is going to be hers to sell those items to you guys. Here we go. Let's unmute her. There you go. 
Now, did I say your name right? You did. You ah, did. Because I messed it up in a minute. You didn't mess it up, girl. You got it I was, right. I was trying my best. I said, I don't want to mess this name up. You did, you did it. You did good. It you did good. But we're going to get started. So tell me this. You know, we talked a little bit about your journey and your bio, but can you elaborate mm -hmm. a little bit with us on what made you start your business? What was that it for you that said, you know what, I'm about to make this happen? Well, for me, um, I've always wanted, I've always had that entrepreneur mind. I always wanted to do something that was just mine. I love nursing. I love nursing. I feel like that's my calling, but I've always wanted to do something that was just mine. So I toyed with a lot of ideas and I've always loved fashion. Um, when I was in high school, I worked at um, Stewart's. You remember Stewart's a long time ago. Long time ago. You may not remember Stewart's, but I used I to know work at you do? Okay. So I used to work at Stewart. So I've always loved fashion. So I said, you know what? I think I think I want to do a boutique. Mm -hmm. um, I love clothes. I love to dress. I love to see women dressed. Um, you know, I love to, to, to play makeup or dress up. So I said, let me do a boutique. And so, you know, I prayed about the idea. I kind of was playing with a name for a long time. I um, asked a few friends and finally, like, it was last year, 2020, um, you know, God dropped into my spirit, you know, it's during the pandemic. So I was real nervous about that, but you know, God dropped into my spirit to, to move forward with the boutique. So, um, that's how the sophisticated queen boutique was birthed. The name really came from my sorority because I am a Zeta okay. and my, um, my line name, um, is sophisticated, is sophisticated. So that's where the sophisticated, um, queen boutique name came from. That's why there's a K instead of a C. So really, and also, you know, being able to start your own business allows you the opportunity to to really help others freely and not have any limitations um, placed on you. You know, I can give when I want. I can do sales when I want. Um, I can bless people when I want. So being an entrepreneur gives you that freedom really um, to just really do what you want to do. And that's so that's kind of that's kind of why I really started it. That's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing that with us. You're so welcome. Um, oh, and before I go to this next question, because she did say something and I was like, yes, right. But I didn't want to interrupt her. Y'all know y'all got to learn how to stop people <laughs> when they be speaking. No, nobody like that. OK, right. so I was like, let me hold this thought. And I just thought about it before I went to this next question. And she was like, she liked to dress up, and you know, and look cute. Let me tell you, if you go on this lady Facebook, <laughs> let me tell you. I don't know how I found her, but all I know is she was in this video and she was wearing this little cute little outfit and I think she was walking or something. You know how y'all be doing them slow, mo slow motion right. things. And I was like, I like her. I, I was just intrigued with the outfits, like, because I am not creative at all when it comes to fashion. My husband, now he the fashion king, but I'd be like, can you dress me? So <laughs> I started watching you just based off your clothing and they were, they, they were nice, like, they were into raunchy, you know, you would have like nice blouse or some pants and some boots. And that's my kind of style. So I was right. like, okay, I, I, I can rock with that. You know, I, I can probably support mm -hmm. something like that. So y'all go follow on Facebook. I don't know what she's doing on Instagram because y'all know I don't really be on Instagram like that. But I know on Facebook, she put mm -hmm. on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> so our next question, y'all just had to say that. Okay. Our next question. What areas do your boutique service? Um, really all women, all women, any, anywhere from, you know, whatever the, somebody's comfort level is really. Well, when I say area, I mean, maybe I need to reiterate. I mean like locations. What location? Locations? Oh, okay. Anywhere in the United States. Anywhere. Okay. We, I was send it, send you your items anywhere in the United States, UPS, um, the postal service, however you want it, I send it. Still working on international. Um, this is our one year in, so hopefully I'll be able to bring the international people in and be able to service them as well. I'm working on that. So maybe I give myself until December, I should have that up and running. Okay, that's awesome. So she serviced, and if you want anything off of that site, you can get it as long as you're in the United States right now, but she is working on international shipping. So y'all stay tuned for that. We're going to hold her accountable because she right. said, you know, to December, so she might have to <laughs> right. come update us on those shipping, uh, mm -hmm. the international shipping. So we're going to wait to December, but if you're in the U.S., you definitely can go ahead and start shopping now, mm -hmm. and she will ship that information to you, okay? 
All right, this is our last question before we give her the floor to go ahead and sell these nice items that she's discounted for you. And then we're going to get up out of here. So the last question, and I'm sure so many women and probably even men too are out there saying, what? Well, oh my, how did you get started? Where do I start? How do I do this? What advice would you give to someone that actually want to get into the beauty industry and then they also they want to actually uh, start a boutique? Because if y'all don't know, if y'all don't know, recently Rihanna became a billionaire mm -hmm. from the beauty industry, cosmetic. Mm -hmm. So this is a hot industry okay y'all know i do numbers mm -hmm. i do data so if you want to learn how to tap into this industry and be successful let's listen to her tell us how you should go about doing that okay so the first thing i would definitely say is to pray about it and 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 get that guidance from god first so that's the first thing that i did i believe that prayer works and you have to pray so i prayed about it um and then you have to do the work so what I did, the second thing I did is I went to um, YouTube because there's tons of YouTube videos, tons of YouTube videos of people that have already started businesses that are already doing boutiques or whatever it is you want to do. There are people that's already doing it. And there's people out there that are willing to give you the information for free. Um, so that's what I did. And then once I got that information, um, you know, I looked at YouTube and then I started digging even deeper. Um, I started searching for my vendors. Um, so like I said, some people on YouTube do give you that information, but then I started searching, you know, for my vendors. Um, I started, you know, reading different articles about the LLC, trying to decide if the LLC or the S Corp or which one was best for me and what I was trying to do. So, um, I did that. And of course I asked people who have already, who have already started business and they provided valuable information. Um, and I just, I stepped out on faith. I mean, you never know if anything, if it will work for you, if you don't step out, you have to have faith and you just have to step out and do it. But faith without works is dead. So you have to do the work. And I feel like I did that. I did my research. Um, I asked questions. You have to also be willing to listen to others. You have to be willing to accept constructive criticism. You also have to understand that, you know, you're not going to just Building a business takes time. I mean, I had to learn that you're not going to just immediately take off. I know some people show that, oh, they're millionaires now, but it takes time and you have to give yourself time and you have to give yourself grace because you're going to mess up. But if you learn from those mistakes, that's the best thing, because then now, you know, and you can also then teach someone else. Um, so that would be my advice is just to to do your research, pray about it. And step out on faith there's there's money resources also i'm now researching that you know for um business owners they have grants and th different things oh. like that i'm also looking at business credit now trying to really learn how to improve um my business and make it grow so that would be my suggestion for you all too all right so i want to clarify uh one thing okay. you said something about you research your vendors and of course, I'm an accountant. I know what vendors are. I, I, we work with them all the time. But for the person that doesn't necessarily understand what a vendor is for that particular industry, can mm -hmm. you explain to them what a vendor is and why it's important to have uh, great vendors? Okay, so what vendors are are the people that you would buy your merchandise from. And you really want a vendor that is um, has a good reputation. So there's a lot of vendors out there, but their reputations are not good. So you want to make sure that you do that research to make sure that the items that you're getting from those vendors are good items. Because you can just like anything you can buy, you can get bad, bad food from somewhere. It's the same type of thing. So with clothes, you want to make sure those vendors have a score. We the, the vendors are scored too from a scale from zero to five. So with me, I shop with vendors that have at least a four to a five. I don't shop with, I don't buy my items from anybody that has less than a four um, because people rate them. And usually when the bo other boutique owner, owners rate them, it's they're, it's true um, because I have stepped out of side, out, I have stepped outside of my four to five and got something from a vendor that was three and I was not happy. So you want to stick with the vendor that is in the rating of four to five. And so that's what I mean by vendors, people you buy your merchandise from. Okay, so and you have, then, to have your, you have to um, have your um, shoppers registration from your state to be able to buy from 
uh, a respected vendor. If you do not have that, you can't buy from those vendors. They won't allow you to buy from them. You have to have the registration number. And what exactly is is that? What exactly it's, is it's, that number and how do you obtain that? Um, you have to go through the state and it's like you have your um, uh, shopper's license. Okay. You no know, rebuy license. So I can mm -hmm. buy from other vendors. So they will ask you for that number. You have to go through the state. You have to apply for it. It is, um, it is, if I can remember correctly, it is free. Some okay. people like to charge you for that. You don't have to get, you know, you shouldn't be charged for that. You, you, okay. you should be able to get that for free. And it's from your state. And it's a, um, it's a resale license and you get it from your state. Okay, thank you for that information. You're welcome. And then she also mentioned something about an LLC. Y'all know I talk about this all the time because that's what I do. I start businesses for people and I do their bookkeeping and I help them grow. That is a very good point. You do not want to get out here in these streets, in these business streets, right. without registering your business. And it's not only uh, for legal issues, right? You, mm -hmm. you want to register your, your business because you definitely want to protect yourself and your family when you step out into business. But you also want to protect your brand. If you don't register that business and say, for instance, if she decided, OK, I'm going to start a sophisticated queen. Right. And she just got on Facebook one day and said, you know, I'm starting this business. I'm going to call it sophisticated queen. I bought these clothes and I'm just going to start selling them under this name. But mm -hmm. the name is not uh, registered. And someone that sees it, that has the money, say, oh, my, that's a hot, you know, that's a hot topic. That's a hot name. They can go and register your company. And then when you decide mm -hmm. that you finally want to register it. It's not possible. And then right. that goes deeper. And we're not going to talk about that today. But that goes also deeper into like trademarking and things like that. Mm -hmm. And protecting mm -hmm. your image, protecting your brand. Because people, let me tell y'all, I've been in business for a long time. People steal people ideas mm -hmm. all the time. They're doing it by the seconds as we speak. They're taking someone's information that can't afford it or that's not knowledgeable to know what they should be doing with their um, intellectual property. So mm -hmm. be um, mindful of, of that as well. All right. Also, she talked about being teachable. I, I hands down agree with that. And y'all hear me say that a lot here as well. You have to be teachable. And that's why I'm bringing these different business owners to you guys, because don't feel like you always know everything. Right. I'm an accountant. I grow business. My main goal is to grow their bottom line. I'm looking at the numbers. I want to see that red go to green. But just because I'm working with I work with a lot of people that are in the trucking industry and nonprofit. But just because I'm their accountant or their bookkeeper does not mean that I know more than they know in their industry. So I'm always a, a student to them because I'm learning from them on what to be doing in that industry so that mm -hmm. I can be a better accountant or a better coach or a better a, a bookkeeper for my particular client. So always be open to learning from people um, outside of your industry, as well as the people that are doing very, very well in your industry. And don't feel like they're coming for you if what they have to tell you is a um, constructive criticism, okay? Right. And there is a big difference between just being straight out nasty and then constructive criticism. So mm -hmm. be open to that because they know what they're doing, okay? Right. Another thing that I like that she mentioned is she talked about time, the process, respecting the process of starting a business. Everybody know when you start a business, it's not going to happen overnight. I'm sure you had some days where you were like, you know what? I'm just tired. This is too, you know what? I just stay at my job because I ain't about to be stressed out with this. And it happens to us all. But if right. you respect the process, you would definitely be successful. But you got to respect the process and don't be looking at how fast somebody else moving or what you're right. doing mm -hmm. or what you ain't doing. Focus on you and what your mission is and you will be successful. Yeah. Then we want to talk about what did she say? Oh, we talked about the business. Good. When, if you're going to go into this industry and you can check me if I'm wrong. But what from what I got listening to her, you want to look at your vendors and make sure that they are. You can put them in categories, good or bad. And if mm -hmm. you want a good vendor, you want to look for that vendor that has a score or four or more. If they don't have a four or more. She's recommended that you probably pass them on mm -hmm. because those reviews on that four or more are probably uh, legit from those business owners that are using it and it's working for them. So don't make that mistake because she's she's helping you not get mm -hmm. into an issue that you don't need to be in already. Right. So that's my spiel. Just wanted to make sure I give you guys a recap of the knowledge that she dropped for y'all, baby. Mm -hmm. so all of y'all that want to get into this booty industry. But what we're about to do right now is we're going to allow her 
to go ahead and showcase a few items to you and then you will be able to go and purchase those items on her website and remember she do ship so she is based out her headquarters is in Tallahassee um, Atlanta of Georgia but she does ship to other cities and states so if you want it you can definitely get it and right. before I, I get started I'm going to give you that uh, code again that she gave me the code is for the 20% off is 0695. So that is the code that you guys will be using. Now I'm going to move my remove myself from out of here so that she can have the floor and show you guys her items. Okay, so this is one of the items. It's it's my birthday. It is one of the items that I just put into the boutique. I actually my birthday was last week. So I actually just got this item and it has really already, I only have two left of these. It's really cute. If your birthday is coming up, it's sequence. So if your birthday is coming up, this is a great addition to add to your, to your birthday party wear. Um, I only have like four items to show you. Just make sure you get into the boutique where you can see the rest. This is something that I had um, in the fall. I think it was the fall of last year. I'm going to bring it back. It's really cute. It's a dress. It has pockets. It looks really well. Um, there is a picture of me with, on, um, with it on in the boutique. I model all of my clothes so that if you have any questions about anything that is in the boutique, I can tell you straight up if it has stretch, if it's how it fits, if you need to go up a size, all of that. I wear every, I try on everything so I can let you guys know what, what, what is, what it is. So here is one of the dresses. This is also one of the cute dresses that I have. It has the leopard print that was is really popular right now. Um, and it has like the tie that goes in the back. Okay. And then if you are a rattler, you want to fam you or you just love fam you. I have this cute orange top. It has the balloon sleeves, has a nice V cut here. If you don't like the V cut, you can put a shirt underneath it or you can pin it up. And it has like a long, as you can see, um, it has like the long tail. That kind of you can you know dress it up or you can dress it down so this is also in the boutique i actually have this in this color and also in yellow so those are the items that i kind of wanted to show you all there is so much more in the boutique i would love for you to um visit the boutique if you have any questions um like precious said you guys can definitely um hit me up on instagram or facebook and i'm willing to answer any questions thank you that was awesome i love it and listen i was looking at that orange thing you know so when i i'm gonna miss homecoming this year because of delta you know i guess the sigmas and the theta's coming out next um but the <laughs> delta virus uh gonna have me sitting in the house right, yeah, right. Really nice did y'all like those pieces y'all let me know in the comments did y'all like any of those pieces y'all make sure y'all head over to sophisticatedqueen.com and shop with this business owner y'all small business owners matter so now when you think about what am i going to wear what, what where can i buy this from think of sophisticated queen because she got you and she gave y'all a discount today y'all go use that discount and support this small business owner because guess what y'all spend money on everything else so now I want y'all to start focusing on the small business owners and thinking of us when you guys decide that you want to re uh, I guess when you want to juvenate, she loved the orange too. I just I saw it. When you want to, uh, <laughs> when you want to bless the world, y'all think of us small business owners because we need y'all support. Because if it's not for y'all, we're not gonna be in business. We're not gonna make it because we're not these big old corporations that can keep it going. Especially when these pandemics running out like this, because we got a lot of hard headed people. So y'all support the small bat, um, small business owner. Listen, that is our spill for today. I want to thank each and every one of you, each and every one of you for attending this live, for all of you that actually participated in the live. Thank you. I want to thank you. I want to say thank you to our guests. Thank you for taking the time out to come and share your business with us. And y'all, if you watch the replay, go watch it from the beginning because she gave, she dropped some, she dropped some gems, bro. Okay. She dropped some bit. Let me tell you something. If I wanted to start a boutique, that was enough, even though it wasn't a whole lot. Y'all know we don't like to make these videos no more than 30 minutes. That little bit of information that she gave you could get you started, especially that I hear a lot in these different business groups about vendors in the, in the uh, beauty industry. And it's like it's a hot thing. Everybody trying to find good vendors. And she just told you the key. The key is to make sure those vendors have a score 
of at least four to five. Now, she did you know, mention something about business credit. So if you need help with business credit, y'all know P got y'all. I got a video on steps, actually, how to start your business credit. So y'all want to go check that video out so y'all can get the process started because it it's only right. It's only right that that's you. That's what you do if you got a business time to build a business credit, build that personal credit, then build that business credit. But that's my spiel, y'all. Y'all know I'll see y'all again tonight at 11 o'clock. You know, we got another banger coming for y'all about these people that be trying to scam. They out here. They out here. But I'm going to be on at 11 o'clock tonight, Eastern Standard Time, to tell y'all about these yahoos that just took advantage of the black community it was it i oh oh i we gonna talk about it at 11 i have this is a comment from global world films and tv i had i have i have to share this with fam and friends because her clothes are too cute let me tell you you ain't seen nothing yet wait till you go to that facebook page i told you i don't know what instagram i'm sure instagram probably popping and i know she just started tiktok because i'm telling you, i be following her she just started learning how to use tiktok too so now she had these little tiktok videos so she'd be dancing and stuff so y'all gotta go check it out i'm telling y'all i ain't gonna make it up y'all know i ain't gonna bring y'all no legit uh, no um illegal people illegitimate people you know, that ain't about this stuff. This lady is about her stuff. She is a rattler. Y'all know them rattlers, they go hard. You know, they they brag different. That's what they said. That's what they said. That's what they had. So my husband, a rattler, y'all, you know, doc graduated from FAMU. So I started that FAMU, but I ain't finished. I finished that flag, as y'all can see. But they brag different, but I brag different too. Mm, 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 mm. But y'all, that's our show for today. I will see y'all later. I love y'all. Thank y'all for all of my y'all support. And y'all, if y'all love me like y'all say y'all be loving me in these comments, make sure y'all are subscribing and turning on the notification bell, okay? Because I need that. I need that. That tells YouTube that what I'm doing, y'all like. And if y'all don't do that, then they're going to be like, you don't like this. And then I'm going to have to just go find something else to do with my life because ain't no need for me doing it if y'all don't like it. I'll see y'all later. Peace out. <laughs>